Hey guys, welcome to new video for Andushin here. Uh, today and in the next video, uh, I will uh, test more capacitor for uh, from different electronic uh, and different type and color for a noble metal like uh, silver and palladium, possible platinum. Uh, I don't have a too much amount, but I have a lot of different types. So uh, right now. In this video I will test four of them and the next video I will test more four of them. Uh, with the last video and one old video you can find uh, you can find the link to that video uh, down in the description of this video. I think I will cover uh, a common uh, types of capacitor which you can find on the different electronics old and the new one. So this capacitor which I have right now it's not enough for some decent amount of uh, recovering uh, some noble metal, but they will show us uh, what capacitor contain what metal. So you, from this video, you can know uh, is that worth for you to collect these uh, these capacitor or just throw that in the waste and leave it on the boards. Okay, let's start. I will show you right now what uh, for all the capacitor we will process today. Okay. Okay guys, so right now, today we will process this four type of capacitor. You see it's not big amount of that capacitor, it's just small. Uh, it's uh, not common on the boards like blue one, like the grey one, uh, like the yellow one. You can find it on the, sometime a couple of them on just one board. Uh, for the first we got these, see that, silver, red and yellow color on this one. Today my bet is on that to have palladium, but I'm not sure. And this is not usual too, square one. See that, we got some red one and the big black one. Very rare, it's not common. Okay, so I will leave just one of them to know which result is from what capacitor. I will burn, crush and of course uh, process that with the nitric acid, small amount and just on the end of this video we will test that for a precious metal and put that on a stock pot because I don't waste my nitric only for uh, videos. I, I want to collect all the metal from it. These are for today video and these are for the next video. For the next video, I have some uh, dark green, small one, light green one, some uh, black, small one, and of course, some gray one, but white gray one. It's not matter, we will see that in the next video, okay? For today, we have our mine material, okay? So let's start. Okay hey guys, so right now I crush all that capacitor in these beakers, see that, and this is the samples. So right now I will add in every one a clean nitric acid, just a little bit, enough to dissolve all the metal. And on the end, after filtration, I will drop stannous test to see is there any noble metal in this capacitor. Hey guys, so the job is finished and in these beakers, I don't have enough beakers so I use a small jar here. I got a solution, sample of the solution from all four capacitors. So see that, this rainbow capacitor, beaker one, square one, beaker two, black one, uh, jar three and uh, jar three and uh, red one, jar four. So right now I drop from all solution already, couple of drops and right now I will add 
some stenius test. So let's show. This is the first one. And you see that. We got some black. I'm not neutralized nitric acid, so it's pretty strong. But when I drop some stenius test, you see it change color. So this one contain some palladium, definitely. See that? Okay, so the first one have palladium. Let's go with the square one, second one. See that? No reaction, not at all. So that one don't contain palladium. Let's do it again. No, no reaction. So no palladium in this square one. Let's see the black one. Number three. Pretty slightly reaction. Small reaction here. Almost. See that? So definitely this one contain some little palladium on black. This one. And uh, of course, for the last, the red one. You see that? Very, very strong reaction. So the red one look to contain the best amount of palladium from all. Yeah, pretty good. So once again, let's see the resume. The first one contained palladium. The second one don't contain palladium. The black one, the third one, the black one contain just a trace of palladium and the red one gives very, very good test result on palladium. So now the next, in this little beaker, I have some hydrochloric acid. So I will add hydrochloric acid to every solution to see if I can drop some silver. And if you see that in the first one, no reaction. So this one, the ray bone color one, don't contain any silver. The square one. Mm, you not see like I, like I do, but I got very slight reaction on silver. So this square one contain just small amount of silver. The black one. No, no reaction. And the red one. Mm, got some little reaction here. Yeah, I got some very, very small reaction here. My camera cannot show you, but I see very small reaction here. So in the end, let's see the resume of this video. The first capacitor contain a solid trace of palladium, but no silver. The second one, square one, contain a small trace of silver, but no palladium. And a black one contain just a small trace of palladium and no silver. And the red one gives very good reaction on palladium, but a small reaction on silver. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you like this test video. This video I'll not do uh, for recovery. It's just for a test purpose for you and for me. And uh, it's show what we can find in some uh, different capacitor. So no platinum here. Definitely in some of these one contain a small amount of palladium and small amount of silver and nothing else. When you have enough 
uh, you can process for silver and palladium, but you need a lot of that capacitor. It's not like these green square one and yellow one are Russian. This is just a normal capacitor from every board you can find, okay? In the next video, we'll process different four capacitor, and with that, I will uh, finish the capacitor test for a noble metal. So, I hope you like this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel, hit notification bell button, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, friend of Chanel.